Well, here's the Ford. I got the lift taken off. I got everything adjusted. The lift technically isn't off. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Being how this is a 13-2 wheelbase rig, stock out of the box, um, I'm still sitting at 13-2 on the wheelbase, and half of the lift has been taken off. You got to keep in mind, <clears throat> when the truck is sitting up at full ride height, you have, I mean, the wheelbase is shorter. So as you compress it, it stretches the wheelbase out. So and how I'm sitting right here, I've got somewhere right around four inches of travel. Where the tire's sitting in the wheel, yeah, it's, it's four inches. But I got the... I got the tire centered. So we are about a hundred percent in the center of that wheel well. The crazy part is is when you roll when you roll the body it tracks us with the links, the four link suspension. Whatever side you're rolling towards, it rolls forward to the inner to the front of the fender well. When the back rolls or i mean the front rolls to the back the back rolls to the front anyway for the most part i mean um i am with it squashed all the way down i am centered and i am centered so i'm exactly where i want to be as far as that goes <clears throat> all right let's put this tire over here let's rotate this up hopefully i don't knock a mirror off i probably will Let's turn the flash on so we can somewhat see what we're talking about here. Okay, these are the TRX4 Sport front links. Um, that's why the that's why my top link is so skinny. These are technically the part numbers off of my Sport. I wanted the I wanted the Sport because I mean the the Sport links because I like the I like that thinner top link. <clears throat> Anyways, 8244, 8243, and the rod ends I used 8275. And basically is what I did was I took the long rod ends off and I put the shorts on. So basically the same the same rod ends on the front. Well, on the front, I mean the whole links on the front. So basically the TRX4 standard rod ends i put those coming off the back of the transmission on the lower and upper links and then i twisted out the bottom rod end one turn one full turn and the top rod end one full turn so i'm literally two turns out <clears throat> but i mean that did it that literally centered my centered my wheel tire combination there my tired Tire defender well. So we're good now. You jack it all the way up. Um, run the spring tensioners all the way down. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. So and I've got them. I've got it so it just droops as far as it'll droop. So I mean it's like oh, I don't know soggy cornflakes. <clears throat> but that's it. I got it. I figured it out. Um, Oh, one thing I got to tell y'all, I did run into a problem on the bottom here, um, and I, I should have known. The rear drive shaft. This is the rear drive shaft out of my sport. I just, I was, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, desperate? Because I just, everything all went, three links went together, and trying to put the last link in, I was like, oh, oh, no way. Yeah, the, the last... The last link wouldn't go in because of this monster right here. So literally, where's it at? There we go. It wasn't going to happen. So now I bought me this box full of goodies here. Uh, my local hobby shop. Got to give a shout out to my local hobby shop. I, uh, I went out there looking for drive shafts, and Paige has a Sunset Bronco, and she, for the shop, 
As a matter of fact, if you're ever out this way, all right, it says sold by Stephanie S, but Paige runs the hobby shop, so BNS, BNS tracks us. The uh, she runs a hobby shop out of her dad's shop, which is like totally awesome. Anyways, I went out there looking for these drive shafts because I was desperate. I mean, before I before I jacked my sport drive shaft, now I just got to figure out which drive shaft I actually need to, to put it together. Because honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know. I could just leave it like it is, I guess. And I'm not really sure exactly how long it's supposed to be. I don't want to. I don't want to have too much play in there. Um. Oh, it's probably, as a matter of fact, I'll bet it's, is that right? I'll be willing to bet it's that shaft right there. Yep, it sure is. All right, I found the shaft. So, I will rip this one back out. I will put it on my sport. <clears throat> I will take this here monster back apart, and I will throw it back together. Anyways, um... I almost threw down on the on the TRX4 the sport kit. Ah, I sure like the sport kit, dang it. I've been thinking seriously about buying one for I don't know how long now. Well wait, ever since it was released. I don't need another sport. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a want. Anyways, back to the back to the whole page and the lift kit, the long arm lift kit. She, as a matter of fact, had a the Sunset Bronco, it's for the shop. I mean, it's hers, but it's basically the, you know, it's the demo. She lets everybody drive it around and this and that and, you know, beat it around the shop. But she put the 2-2 lift on it and the tires, hence the kit. So all the stock parts, I bought all the stock parts. And uh, to buy the Sport, uh, I'm going to end up buying the Sport just because I need like 20 Traxxas vehicles. Oh, yeah, no, I really actually don't, but... I do enjoy Traxxas. <clears throat> Traxxas drives me crazy as a company, but I really love the Traxxas products. I mean, the TRX4 is just, it's a blast. To be able to drive around with the diffs unlocked and diffs locked, and I mean, just to be able to have a two-speed transmission. I mean, my Blazer. My Blazer with this little system right here is running 30 miles an hour in second gear, 13 miles an hour in first gear. Uh, scale trail. We want to talk about Baja 500. You can bunny hop curbs, tree stumps, grass. Um, goes through the grass like a kind of like a kangaroo mouse. I mean, just on its back feet, rear tires, just front tires in the air. Yeah, it's epic. So <clears throat> I might bolt that system in here just because. Anyways, my tires though. Now that I have. Uh, now that I have <clears throat> these bad boys right here, and I actually have no use for these. Um, I could put them on my monster truck sport. That is like totally doable. Um, but the foams, I wish Traxxas would actually sell the foams out of these because these five, three inch tall tires, I believe that's what they are, right? Am I? Yep. Five, three, two, two. Uh, there it is. These tires, these are the foams that are in these 1.9 tires on a 2.2 wheel. How cool is that? Anyways, more on this later. Peace out, YouTube.